keeping scores is great, but it all seems like it's a little pointless if you can't keep track of it after you turn the game off. So, in this tutorial, we're going to look at how to set and save high scores. Let's get started. Although this tutorial is designed to work with my breakout tutorial series, these concepts will work for any other type of game. What we're going to be doing is taking a very simple game over screen, which right now just has two empty text mesh pro blocks. So you'll notice over here on my game over panel, I've got my game over text, and then I also have a text mesh pro object for score text and high score text that just read zero each. At the moment, they're not programmed to do anything. In this tutorial, we're going to use Unity's built-in player preferences in order to store data between sessions so that we can compare and set high scores. You'll notice in the API here that it tells us that player prefs is simply a way to store player data and that it can store a string, float, or integer value. So we'll be using the integer in order to store scores between sessions. With that initial setup done, we are ready to get coding. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to access the place where we're keeping score. In an earlier tutorial, we wrote a score manager script that just causes the score to go up each time we score. So you'll need to access wherever it is that you're keeping track of the score for your game. You'll see that our score manager is very simple. We just send a note every time we score that we need to add to the score. And we keep track of it in our current score and then update the text. I've already set this up to talk to TextMesh Pro as we are updating our score in Unity. But you'll want to make sure to add using TextMesh Pro if you haven't done so already. At this point, we're just going to add two new text references. First one will be to our final score text. So the score you have at the end of the game once you have lost. And then our TMP text for our high score text. At this point, we're going to come down below our change score method and create a new method. We'll make this one a public void. And it's just going to call it high score update. So a couple things we want to do here, but first of all, we just wanted to check to see is there already a high score. So we'll do this by just doing a simple if statement. And accessing player prefs is done by typing in literally player prefs. And what we want to do first of all is we want to check to see if it has a key. So if there is any value at all, and we'll call the value that we're saving here our saved high score. So this will just look in player prefs, check to see whether or not there's already a key called saved high score, and if there is, it will fire this. Now next up, we just want to check to see whether the new score is higher than the one that's already saved. And so we'll type in if current score is greater than, and now we'll check player prefs by typing player prefs dot get integer, and it's the saved high score that we want to access. So if that is true, then we just want to set a new high score. We'll do this by accessing our player prefs once more, but this time we want to set the integer of saved high score, and we want to make it equal to the current score. And with that done, we just need to make an else statement here, just in case there is no previously saved high score, and we can just use the line up above to set that score equal to our current score. At this point, all of the work under the hood has been done. We're setting the high scores and saving them. Now we just need to make it actually show up in our game. We need to update our text mesh pro text. We can do this by using the variables we made up above, like final score text. Don't forget to put dot text because we want to, it's the text we want to modify. And we're going to make it equal to our current score. And we need to just put to string so that it turns that integer of score into text. We'll then do the exact same thing for our high score text. Just make its text component equal to our player prefs value, which, and we'll have to get the integer here for our saved high score. And that'll be the one that shows up. Now back in Unity, you'll want to access your score manager. I am storing my script on an empty game object called score manager in the hierarchy. And you'll notice that we now need to let it know, well, which text is it going to be updating? So I want to make sure that my score text goes here. And then I also want to update my high score text so that they match. So now this script is going to actually be able to talk to the text we created on our game over panel. Now at the moment, everything's working great, except that our score manager script the update score is never actually being called at this point. We need to make sure that it knows that it's supposed to run at the end of the game. So to do this, this will be a little different depending on your project, but in this project, I have a lives manager script. This simply handles the number of lives you have and when it's done, tells the game over panel to turn on. And this is the perfect place for me to also tell my high score to update. So first off, I am gonna need to talk to my score manager script. So at the top, I will make a public score manager reference and I'm just gonna call this one score manager. 
Then we want to just come down here where we have turned on our game over panel after our lives are out. We're going to call the high score update, go into our score manager and tell it that it needs to run high score update, which will update the score. Now if we were to run the game right now, we would end up with a fun little error because I forgot to actually set things up. So at the moment when I die, you'll notice that my uh, score, my lives up here is spiraling out of control and that's a nice easy fix. That just is simply that I forgot to hook up my lives manager to actually be able to talk to the score manager. So at the moment it's getting caught in the point in the script where it subtracts a life and because it can't move to the next line because it doesn't know where the score manager is, it's infinitely looping, taking away lives. Now, however, if I get into the game and I just score a handful of points, let's get our score up to six here or something like that, and then I die, you'll notice that I have a new score as well as a high score. I can now exit the game, come back in, and it will have saved that high score for me. So that this time, if I only manage to score two points in the game, I will now see that my current score is two, but the high score is still six. All right, I hope you've found that helpful. If you have, please be sure to click like or subscribe to the channel. Until next time, this is Matt with Night Run Studio. Cheers.